Life for Chess Now, episode 22nd, live for February 28, 2008. We broadcast every two weeks through public access television in New York City and through a real-time stream at mnn.org. Today we, have, we are focusing on beginners move and we encourage you to call in and share tips at 212-757-1483. Let's sit back for a moment and watch a few internet game taking place right now. And today, guys, I have with me here two guests, uh, Raymond. Hi, Raymond. How you doing? And Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm gonna start with you, Raymond. How old are you? And what do you do? What school you go to? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I go to the High School of Arts and Imagination in Korea, just like around the corner from this here station. On my free time, I like to like write a lot sometimes. You know, it's mainly just like stories and stuff, nothing major. Other than that, I exercise and walk around a lot, and I got myself a little part-time job. Okay, great. And how long you've been playing chess? I've, I haven't been like focusing chess for a while, but I've learned to play from since I was about 10, 11 years old with my old man. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about you, Marcus? I'm 16 years old. 16? Well, why do I keep saying 16? I'm 17. Oh, wow. I'm 17 years old. Okay. And I go to the school, man, the lab, which is conveniently right above this, well, underneath the school. <laughs> um, and my hobbies are drawing and being annoying. <laughs> okay, drawing. And what about chess? 
Chess? Um, I started playing chess when my friends were playing it and they were ha acting like it was so exciting. I wanted to know what, it, what the heck was so exciting about it. Okay, great. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have you guys here today. Uh, and then actually we're going to have um, a chess lesson today and uh, Marcus and um, Raymond will be mo moving the pieces. So Mark, uh, Raymond will be white and uh, Marcus, you will be black, okay? Yes, so we're going to do that in a few minutes. And the number again to call today is 212-757-1483. Call in and uh, let us know what you think about the show. And uh, if you would like to come and be a guest on the show. And um, later on, if you have any question about the chess uh, lesson that we will have, uh, the computer will make in the move and we will have uh, Raymond and Marcus also making the move here live on the studio. So 212-757-1483. Okay guys, um, what are we gonna do? You can call us at 212-757-1483. And meanwhile, we're gonna have Marcus and Raymond, you can start a game until we start um, the chess lesson. So right now you can actually start a game. So uh, you guys can call and uh, make a move or comment on the game. So 212-757-1483 is the number to call today. So Raymond is playing white and Marcus is playing black. So guys, can you tell me what you're doing right now? Who's, uh, how's the game? Uh. I'm not really like taking it all serious or anything. I'm actually just like being a little melodramatic with the game. I haven't played in forever is really what it is, but I've like always like had a good firm grasp of the basics. Right now I'm trying to think of some okay, kind of strategy. Okay, so what did you say, Marcus? I'm thinking of some kind of strategy. <laughs> oh, you have a strategy. Okay, Thank so, you uh, so what, what move, um, what position are we looking at right now? White. I'm a little focused on my like 1H, really. Okay. I'm about to like bust him out, move him around everywhere. <laughs> this guy right here. It's a bit conceited. <laughs> do, you, do you know the name? Oh, that's a rook, by the way. Oh. Sorry, folks, my bad. <laughs> that will be the chess lesson of the day today, okay? Oh, it's go, by the way. So what's, what's your move, your next move, Marcus? I'm trying not to get any of my pieces take. <laughs> are you, you guys are shy? No. No, I'm so, okay. You know, speak up, you know, express yourself. Feel okay. comfortable, you know? <laughs> We're family here, you know? <laughs> Feel like you're home. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay, I think I might be able to do something. No, can't do that one, though. Touch and go. So guys, the number is 212-757-1483. And uh, we watching uh, Marcus and Raymond playing a live game right now. So you're more than welcome to call and uh, suggest a move or comment 
um, on the game. So what's your strategy, Marcus? You say you had one. Um, yeah, but it kind of fell apart after I made some move. Really? <laughs> now I'm going to start moving around with this white rook right here. Okay. I think I'm just going to like, basically the rook moves horizontally, like yeah. say I'm like starting in the middle here, I can basically like slide through here, or mm -hmm. as I'm about to do, just ram this pawn right here. <laughs> uh -oh. so. That's a bit good. Secret. Marcus, are you in danger? Um, it depends what you mean by danger. <laughs> Take and get one of our pieces taken? I believe so, but at the moment, we can just wait and see. I'm not quite in any danger anymore. I see what I can do. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's say we move this little buddy right here. Okay, I'll bite. That's a little rude, don't you think, Marcus? What happened? Uh, he's got my rook in a little trap right here. If I was to, say, eat his pawn right here, his knight could just slide up on me. But then again, that's exactly what I saved my bishop for. Yes, again. So what you know, are you gonna do now, Marcus? Well, I could go and cower, but I think I just might take his bluff. Like, I don't know, sometimes, like, I haven't played in forever, but the way I normally play, it's like, you know, you can't really make any progress in this game unless you don't make any sacrifices. So sometimes you gotta be, like, a little bold. Kind of messed up, can the viewer see it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm just gonna take your queen right there, because it's, like, nice and oh. open, see, up in the there field. Goes my he just took your queen. Like, uh, it happens. He needs to be destroyed for doing such an honorable, honorable thing. Well, speaking of unhonorable, ooh, look at my queen. Ooh. She's so precious. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt <laughs> you, but the, the game looks good. Thank you. Um, what we can do, you can, you know, set up, because we're going to start the chess. Lesson? The chess lesson. Okay. So, so uh, put these back? Okay. Yes, please. So, uh... You're just gonna have to listen, whatever you know. Or you can look at the the, the computer is gonna be making the move. Okay. So actually, I'm gonna have Marcus and Raymond um, making the move. So Mark uh, Raymond is white and uh, Marcus is gonna be black. So you guys, um, this is gonna be a chess lesson. So you have to be, you have to listen carefully. This is gonna help you to understand uh, chess better and learn a little bit you know how to play and learn uh, the name of the chess pieces so um, are you ready yes yes ma'am yes ma'am <laughs> almost yeah. certainly hope the viewers don't make me lose <laughs> okay are you ready at home okay sit down relax and just pay attention okay So, for the new players, we will now be presenting a piece of chess known as the Rook. That's what you said earlier, mm -hmm. right? The first thing to know is that it's very important to call this piece by its official name, Rook. Even though the piece itself usually looks like a castle. To castle in chess means something completely different which we'll get into uh, a future episode. So, to start here, we have a chess board with a few rooks placed on the board. Is the computer ready? Okay. One player has the white pieces and the other player has the black pieces. So, Who's gonna be white? You're Raymond. I and am. 
Okay. In chess, the white player always goes first. So, for this example, we also we will also start by moving a white piece first, the white rook. Let's take a look at where it is on the board. It's sitting at position known as A1 because it's all the way at the bottom left of the board. This is a useful square to remember for setting up a chessboard because as you can see, this white rook is always sitting on the dark square in the lower left corner at the start of any official game of chess. The white player decides to move his rook to a7. a7. Capturing the black rook. Black this is possible because rooks move entirely in the horizontal and vertical directions and never any place else. So let's see where a7 is. It's directly above, vertically, starting from the original A1 square. Everything above is named by giving it a higher number. Next, it's Black's turn to move. He lost an important piece, but it's his turn to move now. And he still has a piece left on H2. Yes. Do you do you see the position on the screen, computer? Guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you can you put back the the board on the screen? Okay. Can you have the same position on the board? Oh, wipe it out, okay. My bad. <laughs> The letter H is used for the square position on the right side for, of the board. And as you can see, it is up on the second rank. The technical way to say this is that the black rook, rook is on file H, rank 2. Or just H2 for short. So where did he move? He moved to H4. The black rook moved from H2 to H4. It's important to keep this position in mind as you make your moves. Eventually, with more pieces on the board and as you play through many games, you will start to get a feel for how each of the 64 chess squares has its own little universe of moves that are possible to play from it. Let's step through the rest of the move slowly, thinking about the position of the square each time. White rook moved back to a1. So it went from a7 back to h1. When you set up a game for real, you will have two rooks of the same color, and in case of white, it starts with a piece on a1 as you see now, and a piece at the right side of the board too, on H1. How you guys doing? I'm doing okay. Okay. And now, let's bring up the next move. We have the black, the black side responding with a move to H2. We can technically say the piece moved from H4 to H2, or som sometimes just rook to H2 for short. Next, we have white moving with, with a piece going on A1 to D1. D1. Partway through many chess games, it's common for the rook to come into action. I am down central five. <laughs> As you can see, anything vertically above the white rook at D1 will be open to attack, especially if it's more powerful piece. 
which we will learn about later. Sometimes the rook move to cover these central areas with plans to move into action much later in the game. And now, black rook moves. It's, it was sitting on h2 and has moved to d2. As you can see, here, the two rooks are near each other, but they can capture each other because the way they move is to only go vertically or horizontal direction. The white piece can attack any th anything that sits on the bottom row of squares and also vertically above it too. The black piece can attack anything that runs alongside it or, or horizontally and above it vertically. And now, let's just step through the rest of the moves now and try to keep in mind where names of the square where the pieces are moving to. The white piece is on square D1. And now, let's see where it goes. It made almost the top of the board, so it made it to D7. Now, let's move the black piece, which is starting at D2. Do you guys know the name of the square it has to move to? It moved to H2. Now, we just call out the rest of the moves. White rook from D7 to B7. Black rook sitting at H2 move to A2. White rook moves to G7. Black rook moves to H2. White rook to C7, black rook to H4, white rook to C2, black rook to H8, white rook to C1, and finally, black rook to H4. So now, you should know a little bit about chess piece, piece known as the rook and have learned some important information how to align the chess board too. When the chess game starts, the white rook is always at the bottom left corner and sitting on a dark square. That square is known as A1. From that important A1 square, all of the chess square above its run upwards with name A1 to A Eight. And the square running along the button of the board run through the alphabet as A1 through H1. You got it? Mm-hmm. How you guys doing? Let me see. I'm doing okay. Get okay, yeah, I hope you got it. So this was um, a chess lesson to help you guys to understand chess. I know some of you already know, but it's a lot of people that don't really know about chess, so um, it's a good idea. So I hope this helped you. You can give us a call at 212-757-1483 and let us know what you thought of the lesson today and if you have any questions. <laughs> hello? Yes, hello. Uh, I think you're one of the stupidest people i ever seen. Great. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> you guys want to start another game? Uh, your call, Marquise. Why, are you shocked? Okay. Little, I didn't think Don't someone worry. would say that. Don't worry. <laughs> like, wow, We're fine dude. here. We're having fun. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have Marcus and um, Raymond starting another game. Yes, a caller. Oh, 
wow, we have a poem. Okay, my ankles feel like liquid gold, rebuilding them morning and night. This ritualistic exercise set about come. <laughs> what kind of form is that? Who got God. this? What kind of poem is that? It's not a good poem. Okay, guys, I don't know about this poem, but um, if you want, you can send us a poem next time. You can even have poem in French also. It's more than welcome. You guys have a poem? Nope. Didn't bring my book. Oh, you didn't bring your book? You don't know a poem? I may have one or two, but I didn't bring mine with me. Sorry. All right. Thank you, uh, Raymond and Marcus, for being on the show today. No problem. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome to come back anytime. All right. And you can watch the show at uh, youtube.com slash chess now. And um, we see you in two weeks. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs>